Let's talk about Spark for data loading. Kind of a funny concept. What are you talking about? Surprisingly, it works really well. An XML file, JSON file, whatever. And using that facility to insert data quickly into a Cassandra cluster. But with the added bonus of being able to do a little transform along the way. So since it's Spark, load the data, do something with it, dump it into Cassandra. That is a cool way of loading a lot of data, especially whenever you're trying to manipulate that data as well. Let's say that you have some fairly dirty data, it's not really cleaned up, you need to get some things done, maybe normalize it. Okay, fine, you can use Spark, does a great job. So in this case, here's a little Spark job. Now, if you're not into Scala, this will probably make you freak out a little bit, but trust me, this is what it's doing. So what we have is just this very simple setup where we take a CSV file with users in it, we read that file in, break it down into an array, and then dump that array directly into Cassandra using the save to Cassandra command. That is super simple. Now, if you were to execute this as a Spark job, then it would read it and parallelize this task across the cluster. It is really a good way to do this in a performant way. So if you'll notice, there's nothing really fancy going on here. This is just take a file, manipulate it into an array, and dump it into Cassandra. This example is a little more complicated. We're actually counting how much of that data got into the system. A little more. Now, if there's any manipulations that need to be done, this is the time to do it. Let's say we're making it all uppercase or validating that the date is correct, that sort of thing. That could be done inside of the Spark job. So all of the data, once it's created, can then be put directly into a Cassandra table, just like every other Spark job that you're running inside of a Datastax Enterprise cluster. Super simple, right? So this gives you a quick overview of how to load data into a Cassandra cluster using Spark.